Good evening, everybody. I'm uh, Shadi Sawalha from uh, Chemical Engineering Department, and also I'm the Managing Director of uh, Palestine Industrial Industries Company. So here we will talk about, uh, let's say, the main the main topics that are required by the industry, and I will explain, uh, let's say, the outline of the course that will be presented in uh, the course and uh, the information that will be needed for manager managers and uh, let's say uh, workers in order to work with the policy that uh, Dr. Peter talked about. Uh, this course, uh, Occupational Safety and Health, uh, this course is designed and uh, prepared uh, by Dr. Abdurrahim Abu Safa, and I'm here talking on behalf of him, and by me, Shadi Sawalha, Managing Director of BBIC, and also, as I said, I'm a lecturer at Al Najah uh, National University Chemical Engineering Department, and Dr. Uh, Peter. Uh, the course description, this course is designed to introduce uh, trainees to safety measures that must be adhered to any plants and any preventive measures such as hazard identification, mechanical, chemical and electrical hazards. Uh, also, uh, this course is uh, to talk about the basic principles of inflammation, fires and explosions and maybe here we will not talk about explosions in order not to have uh, some problems with uh, uh, Israelis ways of protection from fires and explosions because we don't have explosions in Palestinian territories. We don't have explosions in our uh, plants because all our chemicals are, uh, within, uh, are, are not within uh, dangerous uh, chemicals that may cause uh, explosions. Uh, ways, also we will talk about ways of handling hazardous and poisonous materials in workplace and this course also for relevant legislation concerning occupational safety and uh, uh, this is part, I think, that P Dr. Peters talked about. The course objectives, the main objective of this course is to prepare trainees to understand the principles of occupational self safety and to identify hazardous conditions and recommend uh, preventive solutions, as well as carrying necessary measurements, and this will be a part as practical uh, uh, hours. Composition and delivery, fundamentals and tools, lectures will be 12 hours, lab training and experiments, and maybe we will have a case study and uh, the trainees will be invited, I will invite them in, in the company in order to have a case study about, uh, let's say, uh, the measurements and the tools that used by the workers there and about, the, let's say, the, our policy in safety uh, in the, the company. Uh, trainers and Najah National University and Palestine Plastic Industries Company, uh, uh, the trainers for this course. Trainees, technical staff and workers at Palestinian Industries and here we can add as the recommendation of Dr. Peter the managers, the managers, the staff, the workers of the Palestinian uh, Industries. What are the topics that will be covered during this course? Uh, the following topics will be covered using presentations, real case examples and interactive discussions. Topic number one, an introduction to health and safety at work. Here we will define uh, safety, define health and we will differentiate between accident and incident and also the ill health. We will define hazard and risk because all these definitions are very important for, for all the participants and for the manager in order to write a policy for his uh, company. We will talk about health and safety regulations. Okay, we will talk about occupational health and safety administration. Here we will define what is OSHA, what, what is the mission, mission of OSHA, and what is the history of uh, uh, the occupational health and safety administration. Material safety data sheet is very important sheet when dealing with chemicals and when dealing with materials. So here we will talk about this in details. How, how can we read and take benefit from the material safety data sheet of materials? We will talk about all the sections of the material safety data sheet with some examples for some chemicals. Also, we will, we will talk about safety signs, signals, and labels, the prohibition signs, warning, mandatory, and emergency escape or first aid signs. Because if we want to design, let's say, a healthy and safe environment in our, uh, uh, in our in, uh, let's say, workplaces, we, we should know about these uh, signs and about the meaning of these uh, signs. After that, it, of course, these, uh, this topic will be three hours, uh, three theoretical hours, maybe with some examples uh, in, uh, 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 at, at the end of the course uh, in the workplace. Topic two, we'll talk about hazard and risk. Here, hazard analysis, we will define hazard and we will, make, uh, we will show, uh, show the trainees uh, the, the hazard analysis. Then we will talk about risk analysis and we will talk in details about the hazards that will make 
face workers in the workplace, like uh, slips, trips, and fails. And here is the abbreviation for it, STVS. Definition, the causes, the cost, and the prevention of these hazards. Also, we'll talk about chemical hazards, chemical safety concept, safe use and storage of chemicals, how to separate between different chemicals, uh, and that can be known, of course, from the safety data, from the material safety data sheet. How to dispose chemicals, and this is really a very, uh, pro uh, uh, a very big problem in laboratories, how to dispose, let's say, uh, the chemicals, the expired chemicals. They have a problem. And here we will talk about, uh, let's say, the safe methods of disposal of these, of these chemicals. Emergencies and radiation safety, this is under uh, the topic hazard, uh, chemical hazards. Also, from the hazards, uh, we will talk about the machinery and electrical hazards, also the definition, the causes, and, and the, uh, the prevention. This topic will be uh, three theoretical hours. Topic three is fire safety and prevention. We will define the fire fire science and the triangle of fire, and we will know the components, the three components of fire, fuel, uh, oxygen, and uh, heat, and we will know how if we remove, and this is the principle of firefighting, how if we eliminate one of these components so we, we can fight the fire. So here we also, uh, sorry, uh, we will talk about fuel or fire classification because the fire are classified according to the fuel classification. Uh, the types of uh, the fires depending on the fuel. And we will talk about firefighting, the principles of firefighting, let's say uh, the personal firefighting. Uh, and for that, we should know type of fire extinguishers, the different types of fire ex extinguishers. And we will relate these types with the fuel, of course, or the fire uh, uh, classification. And then how to use fire extinguishers. And we may train the trainees how to use the fire extinguisher. And uh, according to our company, or we can, we can let's say, corporate with uh, the civil defense, how to deal with extinguishers or how, or how to use them in the site. Here we have three hours or three theoretical, three theoretical hours. Topic four, material storage, handling, and lifting. This is very important. And this is one of the causes for, let's say, hazards in the workplace. Uh, for the injuries, uh, the injuries in the workplace. Here we will have an introduction about that. We will talk about some statistics about some accidents uh, uh, happen, happened in uh, the workplaces. We will talk about materials type, uh, like the classification of materials, the three types of materials, uh, how, where we can find the materials, and then we will talk about storage, how to store the materials, different materials, how to store different packaging packages like the barrels, like the bricks, like the uh, the other uh, types of uh, bales and uh, so on. Uh, we will talk about materials handling, and here we will talk about manual handling and powered industrial trucks, and how the worker should behave when he manual handle uh, uh, any uh, object or any uh, box. Here we have uh, three theoretical hours. Of course, here in the powered industrial trucks, we will talk about different uh, trucks, and mainly about the, uh, the forklifts. Okay. <coughs> topic five and the final topic, personal protective equipments or safety tools uh, and safety measurements. Here we have an introduction. We will talk about eye and face uh, uh, protection. What is the importance to protect the eye and the face, uh, face during uh, the working? What are the accidents that may be uh, uh, cured for uh, the face, eye and face? Also, we will talk about head protection, hand protection, foot protection, body protection, and finally we will talk about the measurements and safe range of dust, noise, airflow, and temperature. And uh, uh, we may use some of the equipments that are available here at uh, Birzeit University or at Al Najah to make these measurements in the site or uh, 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 to make them and to compare if, uh, let's say, the readings are in the safe range or not. Here we have three practical, three practical hours. Of course, the main reasons why we should more care about safety. Uh, time, costs, competition, international influences, capturing knowledge, product liability, and we will talk in details about these in uh, the course. Who is res responsible for making the workplace? Of course, everybody. Everybody is, res is responsible. And that begins from the managers, supervisors, team coordinators. All of these are responsible for making sure that you have a safe environment 
of uh, to, to work in. So the responsibility begin from managers, not from the workers. Uh, a safe environment to work, uh, of course, it is in some of the responsibilities include, for example, adequate lightning, for also safety guards in, um, uh, in machines, uh, chemical, uh, chemicals stored separately, uh, safety equipment and safety signs, and also safe working practices and regulations and so on, job rota rotation, standard operating procedures, and also the facilities for workers li uh, like lunch room and other things that must be available in order to have a safe a place. Also information, instructions and the training and these, all these are, are responsibility of uh, the company to, to be available for all workers in the, the plant. Thank you for listening and thank you for giving me this chance to introduce uh, this course for you and to be a partner with Birzeit University and with Timbos, with all the university participate uh, uh, from Europe. Uh, thank you for all of you and welcome for any question. <laughs>